I showed you how to make a Keith emulsion with Plantasense HE20, which is a fail-proof emulsifier. In that emulsion, I didn't even use any gum for the sake of simplicity. The emulsion remains stable for weeks and months at room temperature and that is perfectly okay if you are making small batches for your own application. But this emulsion will not tolerate temperature fluctuations. This means if you happen to forget your cream in your purse, in your car uh, during summer or winter, or want to ship the product to somebody, or want to make a commercial product from it, and specifically um, in these days with online uh, hand commerce and shipping products from one continent to the other one, uh, the stability is compromised and the product will break uh, in two phases. Uh, for, for oil and water emulsions, one way to improve the stability and prolong the shelf life is to use a viscosity modifier to increase the viscosity of the water phase. And this is why in natural cosmetics we use natural gums, in conventional cosmetics they use uh, ingredients such as carbomere or uh, synthetic polymers. Here I have tested uh, different gums uh, and I am going to share my results about the viscosity, texture, skin feel and the uh, stability in a detailed blog post. Uh, this is the emulsion that we made a few weeks ago uh, without any gum and as you see it's still very nice and stable. Here I have added our Solagum AX, which is a blend of Acacia gum and uh, Zantan gum. This is a Zantan gum pure. This one is the Cognac gum. Here I have Sclerotium and here I have Tarragon. And today I'm going to show you how to use uh, Solagum in this Kiss Emulsion to improve the stability. Weigh each face separately in a beaker. Disperse the gum in the water face. This is best done when you are using an overhead steerer and disperse at the gum into the vortex. If you don't have any overhead steerer, you can blend your gum with glycerin or with a glycol so that it doesn't build lumps and then you can add it to the water phase and blend it. When all of the gum is added to the water phase, let it stir for about 20 to 30 minutes at room temperature. When the gum is completely dispersed in the water phase and the water phase is smooth and homogeneous, put both water and oil phases in a water bath around 70 to 75 degrees and blend the oil phase till it completely melts. When the oil phase is completely melted, add the oil phase to the water phase and homogenize for a few minutes. After homogenization, continue stirring as the emulsion cools down to room temperature. When the emulsion is 
completely cooled down to room temperature. Stop stirring and prepare a 10% dilution in distilled water to measure the pH before adding the preservative. The pH is above 8, but I have deliberately increased the pH at the beginning because I know that our preservative blend reduces the pH very strongly. So I add the preservative, prepare another 10% dilution and re-measure the pH. So we have added the preservative and it reduces the pH and as you can see our pH is completely in range 536 and this is what we wanted something between 5.2 and 5.5 and now our emulsion is ready our emulsion is finished now it is cooled down and we have adjusted the pH added the preservative and it is ready for stability test and micro kit test the viscosity will slightly increase within the 24 hours and if you look at the emulsions that we have made about a month ago you see that the viscosity is increased this emulsion is the one we made in the last video without any stabilizer without any gum and this emulsion is the formulation of today with so I honestly cannot tell the difference if I didn't knew which one was which one. If you measure the viscosity, this one with the gum obviously has slightly higher viscosity. The main difference, however, is in long-term storage and stability. This one will separate in two phases at a high temperature, so let's say about 45 degrees, which is the temperature you uh, easily reach in summer when the product is in a car uh, let's say your courier that is transporting the product but this one uh, easily passes the stability test and remains stable at 45 degrees for over eight weeks so this is one of the ways to improve the stability of your emulsion and keep it still simple. So we have improved our emulsion from the last time at one stage and that was improving the stability and prolonging the shelf time. I hope you have enjoyed this video and will uh, try this formulation and I will come back to you in another video uh, and we will improve our emulsion one step further.